Recently, when I was teaching Microsoft Project uh, for a client, I was presented with an interesting problem to solve. How to schedule instruments or equipment. And basically what we have, uh, we have six processes, six tasks. Some of them are four hours, some of them are six hours. And uh, we need to assign a resource that is a piece of equipment and then find a way to schedule those tasks around that resource, around that piece of equipment. Now, the difficulty is to make sure that each one of these tasks begins during regular business hours. But once set up, the process can actually run into the night when people are no longer around. So basically, each process is started by a human worker, but uh, is run by the piece of equipment, and we can leave it uh, to run without any human intervention. So the first thing that I did here is I specified durations for these tasks to be in elapsed hours. Notice that in the durations column, I have EHRS rather than HRS. Elapsed hours will overwrite or ignore the calendar, and it will give you the straight uh, six or four hours. I want to do a couple more things here, uh, uh, just kind of to play it safe. I'm going to select all of them and go to uh, Task Information dialog box, and what I will do, I will click on uh, the Advanced tab, and choose the task type as fixed duration, just in case. Of course, elapsed hours will already make it uh, fixed duration for me, but I will do that anyway. Another thing that I would like uh, to do here, I would uh, assign a 24-hour calendar to the task uh, instead of none. And I will make them non-effort driven. I don't really like the effort driven scheduling option anyway. So I'm going to click OK now. Now let me go quickly to the uh, resource sheet and see what I have in resources. There I have a single uh, resource. I called it processing station. And that is the processing station that will do the processing, will run all of those tasks, which need to be started by a human, but run by the processing station. This resource, uh, there's only one thing I would like to change here. Instead of the base calendar standard, I'm going to select the 24 hours calendar for that resource because the processing station can work uh, 24 hours a day. Of course, if you have a piece of equipment that needs to have regularly scheduled maintenance, then you may want to set up a special calendar for that piece of equipment and then assign it to this particular resource. Now let me go back to the Gantt chart. And uh, what I will do here, I will create a trigger task for each one of these process tasks. And the trigger task will be something that a human does. I'm going to call it setup. So I'm going to call it setup, create a task, and uh, I will uh, make uh, several of them. I need six of them. I need a trigger task for each of my processes, process one, so six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here you go. I have six setup tasks. Now what I want to do, I want to select them and I want to make them all, for example, one hour in duration. So I'm going to select and do Shift F2, task information dialog box or multiple task information dialog box. I'm going to make it, uh, first of all, I'm going to make it uh, one hour. And of course, you can make it smaller than that, depends on how long your setup is. And what I need to do, I need to assign a calendar to this task that is a regular business calendar or your project calendar. I'm going to select standard as the example. Remember, the standard calendar has working time 8 to 12, 1 to 5, and uh, Saturdays and Sundays are off. But you can assign your own project calendar to this task. Now, this is important because I don't want this task, the setup, to happen outside of business hours. And uh, now I can uh, click OK. 
So now I have several setup tasks. I'm going to now distribute them so that one of these setup tasks is preceding each one of the processes. So I'm going to select one and drag it like that. And now I'm going to select this other one and drag it before process two. And then I will quickly just uh, make sure that there's a setup task before each one of the process tasks on my list. So now I have setup, process one, setup, process two, setup, process three, and so on. Now I'm going to link each of the setup tasks to the consecutive process one, process two, and so on. I'm going to link like this and like that and like that. I'm set setting up a trigger task for each one of the processes. So you can like equipment setup or turn on the equipment, whatever it is, depends, you know, how long it takes, but I need some duration in there. Now, uh, let me take a look at the uh, entire project. Now I have a bunch of tasks. Each one of the processes is preceded, is linked to a predecessor called setup. Now the setup is uh, using the project calendar. So the setup cannot take place outside of the project calendar, outside of the business hours. But uh, each one of the processes can run uh, being elapsed duration tasks and based on 24 hour calendar, they can run at any time. Now, I did that so that when I level my uh, activities here or tasks, I want each one of them to run as long as necessary, but each one of them needs to start only during the regular business hours. Well, now it's time to assign our resource. I'm going to select all of these including setup and process one, setup and process two, all of the setup tasks and uh, their consecutive linked processes. And I'm going to do uh, Shift F2, click on resources, and assign my processing station to all of these tasks. I'm going to click OK. And now I have uh, multiple tasks that are scheduled to run in parallel but they have only one resource assigned to them. And now it's time to level them so that we can distribute our tasks around the availability of the processing station. So I'm going to uh, click on a resource and I need to level. But here's what's interesting. It's really important that this particular workflow, you want to make sure that your tasks are sequenced in the order not linked, but sequenced in terms of uh, your screen, your list of tasks, in the order in which you would like them to be scheduled. So now I'm going to click on the leveling options before I level. And here's the important part. I need to select for the leveling order ID only instead of standard. Uh, I'm going to select ID only, and that means that leveling will be based on the task ID, which is one, two, three, four, five, our row numbers. They're called task IDs. So that is important part. Now I'm going to click on level all and see what happens. So let's take a look at it. I have a trigger task set up at 8 a.m., which is business hours, and then a process is running. And the process ends uh, after 2 p.m. at 3 p.m. Then we can start the next set up immediately because it's it's business hours and run a process but notice when the process is done the process is completed it is uh, actually 8 p.m so nothing happens after that until the next morning 8 a.m and then we do another setup and do a process and then we have another setup because we are uh, it's p.m you know afternoon and we can do another task set up another process but that process is done at 8 p.m. as well. So nothing happens after that until the next morning and so on. So this process works. Uh, this is a, a possible workflow for, for a situation when you have uh, instruments that you are scheduling uh, for different tasks and you need to start those tasks during business hours, but they can run into the night if necessary. Now, what was important here, I'm going to clear leveling for a moment for the entire project. What was important, I'm going to click on view, entire project. So 
When I leveled, I mentioned that you really need to do it by ID. Let's see what happens if I don't do it by ID. I'm going to click on the leveling options and level order is going to be standard. And I'm going to click level all. So then I get very unexpected results. I have set up for each of the tasks uh, leveled first and actually separated with some lag time before the uh, actual processing task. So that uh, uh, leveling didn't work. I need to clear leveling and make sure that's important with this particular workflow that I am leveling based on ID only. And I can click level all. Now, having said that, if you want to prioritize, if, uh, for example, you need process five to actually be scheduled before process two, what you need to do, I'm going to clear again. What you need to do is set it entire project. I need to select both the setup and process five and move it in my list to the position where I would like to see it after I level. So here, now I have setup and then process one and then setup and process five. So that the process five along with the setup will be scheduled after the process one. Let me level again, a resource. And I can level all because my leveling options have been previously set up. I'm gonna click level all. And sure enough, we have uh, process five scheduled to be done after process one. And then the next one after process five will be process two. But everything seems to be working. So that is uh, one solution that seems to be flexible enough to be utilized. If you find a, an easier solution, let me know. I'm really interested uh, in this kind of real-world scenarios. Very interesting problem, so enjoy.